Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video and it's time for me to share with you my new or updated melee build with over 350 melee damage boost. Let's check it out. Well, well, welcome back everyone and it's time for a new melee build as I already told you in the very first preview so I have noticed that my old melee uh, build guide is completely outdated it doesn't make sense anymore and I have something very different right now so I decided why not to make a new one I think it will be a very useful for everyone out there who loves melee and uses it for their main build in Fallout 76 anyway that's not everything I have done in the past few days I have asked you and through YouTube community and my discord for suggestions and also perks that you think I should use in my melee build and I received a lot of nice feedback and I have actually reviewed plenty of perks and some of them I have actually included in my build now because I have plenty of points to spare from the double experience weekend. Anyway, let's move on to my last note before we begin with the guide itself. And in my opinion, I think there is no real wrong or right side of a build. There are many melee builds out there and most of them actually work. In my case, I think mine works very well, but that's because it suits my playstyle perfectly. You know, I can basically one hit things without heavy attacks, I have a lot of mobility, I can dodge uh, attacks, I can do pretty much what I want in my combat system and I love the freedom and the flexibility that it gives me but that doesn't mean that the build will be perfect for you, you can always do adjustments and make it perfect for your playstyle and the things you do in Fallout 76. So with that I will get started with the actual guide, let's go. Okay, so let's start from the beginning, shall we? And I will talk first about the stats. I think you really should max strength because in case you don't know, each point in strength is equal to a 5% melee boost. And yeah, let's do the match. This is how much you get just by maxing it out. Then um, everything else is very much up to you, but I have a 6 endurance. In perception, I don't have anything that great. Now, this green thumb is wrong because I usually use this as Terminator one. But in Indoors, for example, I think six uh, are the minimum for uh, uh, the perks because you need solar power. It's very powerful uh, during the day. It gives you a plus 3 strength, which is a 15% melee damage boost and 3 endurance, it's also useful. And then Ironclad, it's something I added recently. I wanted to have it for a while, but I didn't have enough points here. Now I do, and you basically gain 30 damage and energy resistance while not in power armor. Now I have been playing out of my power armor for almost 2 months now, and yeah, this is extra uh, defense to compensate you not being using the power armor which is you know the epic defense method in this game and yeah that's pretty much why you need to have at least six endurance in my opinion you can have uh, two more points to max this one out if you want maybe I will do that in the future who knows but then in charisma I have nine points because I very much like some perks there and then I can also share um, a three a point perk with people when I'm in a team it's very useful in intelligence I think I still need to change it I have too much intelligence for what it is but then again there are some useful perks in here and yeah it's up to you to uh, have a lot of intelligence or not in agility it's another case of Damn, there are too many perks here to choose from. I have one in nine, but I am actually considering switching some points here because I'm always struggling with uh, agility points. There are 
way too many of valuable stuff here. And in luck, I think five is more than enough. There are also some more useful perks, but I'm very satisfied with bloody mess and starch jeans. I think that's pretty much everything I need in luck. Let's go back to strength and I will tell you which perks I always use. So these are the base perks in Caesar. It basically ignores uh, your target's armor, it gives you armor penetration, 17%. And I have tested this uh, several times and it really makes a difference. With, uh, just try without this perk and you'll see that your damage in every enemy is way less. So this really works and you must have it if you have a melee build. Please just use this one as your base, as your first perk, I don't care what else you use, this one has to be there. And then I have a martial artist because it allows you to swing faster at 30%, aka it gives you a 30% attack speed bonus. Also, for weapons that are a bit, you know, on the weight side, it decreases it by 60%. Which is good. I mean, normally, for example, my dagger weights nothing at all, but for the sledge, it's okay. For axes, it's also helpful. And then, if you use one hand, you will have to get the gladiator perks. There are three of them, so it's the expert gladiator, and the gladiator, and master gladiator, and in total you can get 60% melee boost for one hand weapons. If you use a two hand, then it's also fine, in strength you have the slugger perks, it's basically the same thing, but just for a two hand uh, weapon. So make sure to equip your, uh, they are here at the end, the slugger, the master slugger, and the... Um, uh, expert slugger, sorry. And it's the same thing for shotguns. I also run a shotgun and I have all the perks as you can see. So I'm constantly changing between these three sets of perks in strength depending on which weapon I am using. And let's keep with the expert slugger and master slugger and slugger for now and then on perception i have a concentrated fire because it basically increases the damage a per shot in vats mode i have been using this uh quite often when it comes to fire weapons, especially my shotgun, so it's very helpful. Also, with the melee build, it can be helpful as it, it's a guaranteed um, attack, but with one hand weapons, it doesn't make much sense because you can attack so fast that by the time you enable that and hit, it's like three or four hits from a normal one hand. But it's still very useful and I use it quite often, as I said, with fire weapons. And exterminated because, well, it ignores 25% of uh, insect armor. And I do fight a lot in the mire area with mirror looks and insects overall. So this is actually useful and it complements the incisor. Uh, if I'm not wrong, I think the cap is around 100% in uh, armor penetration. And I do feel a difference just with one point in this perk, I cannot imagine with three points, but I don't have enough space for that, so I leave it like this. And endurance, as I told you before, solar powered is a must, because it gives you a 15% damage bonus in melee during the day, and to be honest, I normally play during the day in game, I hate playing during the night, it's so dark, especially in the dark, in the cranberry bog and so on, I prefer to play during the day, so this is perfect perfect for me and it should be for you too. In terms of ironclad, well I explained at the start, I can tell you again that it's extra defense for your no power armor uh, pieces. You can max it out if you have enough endurance points, if not it's also fine, I leave it here at 3 points and well 30 damage uh, and energy resistance is already a good start, you know, it's like you have an extra piece of armor already and that's great. Let's now move to Charisma and Lone Wonder is a must if you play alone. Yes, max it out and use it because you take 20% less damage and gain 30% uh, stamina regeneration basically. It's a wonderful perk and if you are playing solo like me and I really play alone, this is like 
yes, it's 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 essential. Um, but on the other hand, so for people who play in teams, I always suggest you to get inspirational because it's a faster way to level up. And who doesn't want to level up faster, right? But if you're not happy with this one, then you can go for squad maneuvers, which allows you and your teams to run 20% faster. And you can also go for bodyguards, which again boost your uh, defenses depending on how many teammates you have in your team. That's a very good perk. And then you can also uh, go for a party girl if you drink uh, a lot of alcoholic stuff or if you're selling a lot like farming stuff to sell to the vendors then don't forget your heart pegging very important let's move on to my actual build La, like the usual stuff i have in combat i then go to healing hands because i revive players quite often in events i am you know like the caring person i see someone in the floor and i go there and this is a decent perk to have i had to fill this is basically a fill perk if you have something buried in charisma you can use it but this is not like a must to have. It's just something that is useful for my playstyle. Then a travel agent, because I am traveling all the time. I am sure you are too. And this decreases the caps that you need to fast traveling by 30%. It's very, very useful and it helps you saving caps a lot. Then I have tenderizer. It makes your target receive 7% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. It basically gives you a 7% damage boost, but only when you attack first. So it's kind of a passive, but it activates very easily. It's also a must-have perk, in my opinion. Then on intelligence, I have a Nerd Rage. This is like a safe keeping uh, when you are low HP because it gives you a 40 damage resist or it increases your defenses and then you have a 20% damage and um, more it's a boost to your damage and you also get AP regeneration and that's fabulous so if you are in trouble this perk is going to save you it has saved me endless times and yeah if you don't have um, like a, a vampiric weapon which regenerates health uh, as you hit then this perk is very very solid and a great choice to keep you alive then i have a makeshift warrior i don't always have it on actually i normally equip it when um i want to craft or mod some something and in here i want to give you some circumstantial perks like a gunsmith um when you are using like a weapon for an event or something it's useful it's basically the same as makeshift but for fire weapons and then when you are going to repair your stuff uh don't forget to equip your weapon artisan because you can repair any weapon to 200 percent of normal condition it's yeah another thing if you repair without this perk then it's going to break very easily but with that one thanks well last 200 percent more <laughs> Anyway, if you have an explosive weapon, then make sure to equip this one. I use it often with my shotgun and it works pretty much. Uh, it's a 60% damage boost. So it's the same if I equip it, uh, my three perks, which is nine points in strength to boost the shotgun damage. And it's, it's like a quick solution to do more damage with your weapon if you have a fire um, explosive damage weapon sorry and that's pretty much it you also have you know like more perks to craft and so on but uh, I will leave that to you because otherwise I will have to go over all the perks I have and that's not what I want to do here so in agility I have a marathoner which pretty much consumes a 40% less action points when you are sprinting and now I do sprint a lot and walk a lot even during combat you know I'm always moving around to dodge bullets and to trick my enemies not to melee hit me and this is wonderful i always have a my on and i don't regret it a single bit then i have a born survival to also give me 
uh, an extra chance to survive when I'm in trouble, together with the nerd range. So when my HP is low, I automatically uh, consume a steam pack. I also have a few armor pieces with this perk. And it, it really helps uh, managing things because then I don't have to worry to always be clicking on a key to use steam packs when I'm low HP. This does it for me as well as my armor and I'm grateful that this perk exists. I don't need more than level 1 though. And then adrenaline is something I'm using for months and it's just so, so powerful. And when you are fighting many enemies, which by the way happens all the time, when you visit a new location, there is not just one or two enemies there there are 10 there are 20 you know and as you go and kill one by one your damage increases um <clears throat> and it stacks up uh up to 60 percent damage and it's like yeah damn that's a lot of damage right the bad part is that it doesn't last much um it's like 30 seconds per kill, so after 30 seconds, if we don't kill anything, it resets. But it's just... I love this perk. Please do do have this perk, because it's like another game. It's like the damage is just insane. And to finish on luck, I have Bloody Mess. It's basically free 15% bonus damage. Why wouldn't you want this perk? And then I have Starch Genes, which allows me to keep my mutations in place when I use Radaways. And yeah, you don't want to use your mutations once you get the ones you want. And let's talk about mutations now. So let's go back to the stats and... Um, God damn it, I'm talking for too much and my character is dying. So let me go on and just get some water so she doesn't die at least. And then on the mutations, I have Twisted Muscles is a must. It gives you 25% melee damage and you have a chance to cripple enemies as well with your melee weapons. This one is like you have to have it, you know, it's a must in your melee build. And then I also love a marsupial for the carry weight and the jump weight. It gives you less for intelligence, but oh well, it's life. It's a great trade. You can easily, like the jump uh, height, it's like you can dodge stuff so much easier. You can also access places that without it you can. So it's, it's also a nice replacement for the jetpack in the power armor. So if you don't use this, uh, the power armor than marsupial is really really great healing factor is also one of my favorites because whenever you're out of combat your health regeneration goes up by itself you don't need to use food or steam packs nothing it just goes up and that's it then the adrenal reaction it's something i got very recently and I my my feelings about it are very mixed because 50 HP is a lot. I do feel like I go down much easier than before for obvious reasons. I have uh, minus 50 HP, and the trade is that it gives me weapon damage at low HP. But then again, I'm not often at low HP. I even have you know measures to ensure my HP goes up so I don't die. So this is very, I think it was a mistake, I shouldn't have uh, learned this one, but it's there now and I will keep it, I don't have a chance. And also Speed Demon for the extra move speed and uh, reload speed, it's it's overall it's only bonuses from this perk, so why shouldn't you get it, right? And that's pretty much my mutations and I don't think I need anything else at this point, it's perfect like this. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now let's move to my gear very quickly. And then uh, I will just give you a few more tips on what you can use to boost your melee damage even further. So in terms of weapons, I'm using the Furious Supper, Supper, Supper Sledge. 
So here is the three star stats. It's a 40% faster swing and one agility, blah, and damage increased after each consecutive hit in the same target. So the first two perks on this weapon are excellent. Uh, for uh, the third one, not so much, but that's how it is. I have also modded it a little bit to give me uh, more damage here. And yeah, overall, this is a very good weapon and well, it does what it's supposed to do. Kill everything in one swing. Hmm? And then the other weapon I use is this one, as you could hear, is combat knife. And as you can see, I also have 40% faster swing. I love the attack speed. It's just, it makes so much difference in this game. And then I also have 50 more damage when your target is below 40%. This is also a very good perk in the knife because you don't do as much damage as a two-hand weapon. So as you do uh, really fast swings, you can almost instant kill the target when it's below 40% HP in uh, reduced uh, weight it doesn't really matter because as you can see uh, yeah <laughs> that's uh, th these are my two weapons and I can show you my shotgun uh, shotgun just because we are here showing and it's an explosive damage one it's a very you know one, one perception doesn't tell me anything and the more damage the more you withdraw effects also don't affect the damage that much um, at least in my playstyle, but this is also a decent weapon. Now, in terms of <coughs> defense, I will show you my items. They are not something that special, uh, just I like them. For example, this one, it complements my uh, defense strategy about being low HP and then a steam pack triggers. There is a perk for that. I have it equipped. I have also this one and sometimes it conflicts, but this one is only when I'm 25% or less HP. So it's like first my perk triggers than this one and it's a very safe method to never die. And as long as you don't take, you know, like, uh, insane amount of damage in a second and you're gonna die steam packs are not going to save you but then it increases action point refresh speed this is a very good perk and food ring and champs when it's reduced by 20 percent this is like wow amazing these two perks are just amazing so this piece is staying with me for over a month and i'm not replacing it i don't think i will in any time soon then i have this uh chameleon perk uh to blend with the environment it's you know I have at least one piece because I like this feature and again increases action point refresh speed it's okay it's nothing special especially uh, the armor it's quite weak but I haven't found a better one so far so I'm sticking with this one the life saving um, chest piece is also nothing that special um, it's mostly about this one, the second perk. When I'm down, I have a 50% chance to revive myself. And this has saved my game multiple times. So I am keeping it for a long time. Another thing I should have said at the start is that I'm using Deep Pocket in, in every single piece, which is basically replacing the inventory perks in Strength. I replaced uh, inventory space with damage in Strength. And that saves me some perks and it's amazing as you can see I have almost 300 inventory space without a single perk to boost it it's just perfect and then I have let's go to the last ones the legs I have this three star that you know has it's it's about defense and has more durability so it's a pretty fine one, nothing much to say about it. And then the other uh, piece is also about strength. Uh, I mean, defense, sorry. And yeah, it's just very basic stuff uh, to increase my defense. And as you can see, uh, my defense, my physical defense is almost 300. And yeah, it's, it's pretty okay. It's nothing uh, impressive. It could be much better, but it's it's fine. You know, it's pretty it's pretty high there, and yeah, that's pretty much my build. And yeah, now let's move to the foods, cams, and everything else that could boost your melee damage even further. 
Now, this will be a quick one because I just want to show you that some foods like glowing meat steak, it's very easy to craft from glowing meat. And also now new sheep squash meats such as the mutton meat pie and mutton chops. If you don't know how to craft them, then make sure to check my guide. I'm putting the link up there. So with these three food stacked, you can get at least 35% melee damage increased then you can use it camps like fury or psycho buff or buff tats and you can get even more damage i had all the buffs that you just saw the foods and uh fury and a drink the moonshine i think i didn't mention it but you can also uh consume drinks with strength and if you use the party boy or girl you get triple effects so that's a free 15 percent more melee damage and these gulpers are just getting destroyed with my one hand dagger. I moved then to super mutants and as you can see they are going down in one two hits and my adrenaline is not even stacked yet I just got started and I'm not doing any heavy attacks they are all normal dagger attacks. It's just impressive how much damage you can deal with this build and by consuming a few utility you know a little help there even mr gypsies they are pretty much useless against this build i can just move around them jump and they can't really do much to me honestly unless there are many of them which is not the case here and now to finish it's a test with just a build no buffs no foods cams anything it's just a build and my gear at West Tech and with my two hands uh, sledge and as you can see there are dozens of them hitting me I'm one hitting them basically and again normal hits no heavy attacks at all I almost went down here but as you can see, my defensive perks triggered and I'm very much alive and ready for more. Well, that's going to be everything for this video. I think it's long enough already. And I'm sorry if my voice is a bit uh, not so good because I am with a cold right now. But nonetheless, I decided to show up on camera. It has been a while and to cover up my well new guide for a melee a build with tons of damage and a lot of defensive stuff to keep you alive hmm i hope you enjoyed the content if so don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel leave a comment below to let me know what you think about my build and everything i have suggested here i am marta branco thank you so much for watching and as usual i will see you in the next one bye bye Wow.